Simon, all right, now look, I got so much flack for reacting to the wrong version of your so vain and oh man, y'all beat me into a pulp, okay, so we'll just stick, we'll just stick with the, it, it's crazy because I typed in this song, which was like the second or third most requested song for her after your so vain and Two other recommendations popped up, and it looked like live performances. I I don't know if you, you guys just told me the song. You didn't specifically say which to do, whether to start live or start with the studio. So I just went to the studio. All right, we go in the studio version, and uh, again, hopefully you guys won't kill me. <laughs> All right, this is that's the way I've always heard it should be. Um. That's a very long song title. I know record labels usually don't like like very long titles like that. But um yeah, I'm I based off of how much I requested this, I'm going to assume it was a hit, but we'll find out. But let's hear it. Let's check it out. We'll do the song research afterwards. Let's go. This is like, I don't even know how I would label this. I don't know what genre this would be considered. But this is beautiful. And that, that line where she was like, uh, I, walk, uh, I, walk by, I walk by the master's bedroom. My mother's there reading her magazines. Um, she told me it's... Uh, time to go to bed but I forgot how to dream I don't know why that line was just so hard to me that that was fire but oh so I'm getting the gist of what she's talking about um as we get into the second verse but she said you know we should get out have a family well he said that we should get out and start a family of our own um, get married and that's the way I've always heard it should be and um, I feel like this is a great song in regards to that like that that's really the case right like it's certain things that everybody kind of recommends to everybody right everybody says go to school go to college get a degree get a good job work your nine to five try to work your way up um find a wife find a husband have kids and just ride off into the sunset but as we all know it's not the way life goes um for everybody at least everybody doesn't have isn't able to make those decisions or make different decisions and you know, so I really like, at least so far, what I'm taking away from the song. She's saying that's the way I've always heard it should be. Kind of just going off of the, the social norms. But um, her voice is 
This is a much different approach than you're so vain. Um, very beautiful. Real quick, whatever effect they put on those drums to give it that echo effect, or that very prominent sound where it's kind of over, not overshadowing, but it just, it sounds like it's bigger than life, these drums. Whatever effect that is, I really like it. Um, I don't think I've ever heard drums sound this way um, in any song that I've reacted to at least you know on here on my channel um i really like that effect keep our love alive baby all i know is what i see the couples cling and claw and drown in love's beautiful I really like that echo effect I wish more songs used it but then again I probably would get annoyed if every song I heard had it but I really really like that I really really like that that was a great song man that was a really good song so the song was performed and was the lead single from her self-titled debut album, Carly Simon, 1971. Her friend and frequent collaborator, Jacob Brackman, wrote the lyrics and Simon wrote the music. Got you. The song peaked at number 10 on the Hot 100 and number 6 on the Adult Contemporary Chart. Earned her a nomination for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. Where she also won Best New Artist. So they have it labeled as soft rock. Okay. I, I, I guess so. Uh, I, I, I really don't know how I would, would have labeled that song.
with subject matter that includes the parents' bad marriage, the friends' unhappy lives, the boyfriend's enthusiasm for marriage but controlling nature, the song's woman, the woman's initial resistance and ultimate uh, capitulation. Capitulation. I've never said that word before a day in my life. Okay. Simon was quoted as saying, when I first wrote it, I thought it was an unusual thing for people to break up, and now all of my friends are divorced. It's a great, that's, that, that's a great, one day, I think it, need, it needs to be talked about more, about how often people get in, I don't want to say pointless relationships, but you know. I, I I speak for Carly. I, well, I speak for Carly. I agree with Carly when she says that. I just know some. Uh, most of my friends, like they, let's just say, staying in a relationship is just not not as easy as people think it is. But that was a beautiful song, man. Very beautiful. Um, almost eerie because of how the, the the production of it all like it was it was just a piano and and because of the effect they kind of like it, it was almost like it was meant to be uh i'm trying to think i don't know but it it it, it was almost like an, an intimidating almost the song like almost scary, but it was beautiful though. It was beautiful. Like her voice was beautiful. It just had like an eerie feel to it. Um, but overall, it was a great song. I really, really liked it. Um, yeah, I really don't have much to say on this one, but I really enjoyed it. I really, really did. Um, and again, definitely a drastic difference between this and You're So Vain. Um, so already you have a pretty good idea of the range of Carly Simon. Um, so I can't wait to hear more, man. See what else she got got up her sleeve. Um, what was it, a 30-year career? I, I forgot, how long has she been active? Carly, Carly, Carly. Let me see. Oh, since the 60s. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's what? 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010, 2020. 80 years. Jesus. Yeah, so. Definitely, uh. Definitely have a lot more, um, for us to check out. So. Y'all let me know what else I need to check out. And we definitely will, man. Carly Simon. It felt good to hear her again. It feel, it's been a while since I reacted to, to You're So Vain. Definitely was a while ago. So I'm really, really excited to hear some more, man. So y'all let me know what else from Carly I need to check out. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time with Carly Simon. Peace.